Hi everybody, Alex Deploy here from Expert Forex and in this video we're going to be looking at a great new indicator that you can download and that will help you draw standard deviation channels and we'll have a closer look at those channels later on. Now to just give you some background, so how standard deviation channels work is they work off an average price for the price movement over a certain period. Now the period could be a year, could be two weeks. That line in the middle there is the average line. So what then happens is that most of the price action actually happens within 68% of that average line, then 95% of the price action happens within two deviations, and don't worry about that, that's basically just the movements away from the average, two deviations from the average, and then 99% happens within three deviations, and often 100% happens within three de deviations. But that's the model that we use because we want to know where we can make lots of money in this particular area. That's the basis of standard deviation channels. Now this concept gets used all over the place, and here's one example of IQ's tests that have the same basis. So in other words, they say 68 percent of the population falls within that level of IQ, which is the, the middle line is 100 and 68 percent of the population. Then then it will say then it says 95 percent of the population falls within two deviations, which are there you can see the values and then 99 percent will fall in the three deviation level and then you only have the absolute genius on this side and must probably be the opposite of a genius on this side that makes up that one percent that uh, or less than one percent of the balance of the population so the, the, this concept is used all over the place if you've got a, a good enough big sample of readings this is normally what applies. Okay, enough of that technical stuff, but this is what kicked it off uh, a video that I made about two months ago about standard deviation channels, and I basically said direction doesn't matter because they provide you with a direction of trade. The price will always go back to the average line, always go back to the average line. So when the price moves away from the average line, like over there, it moves away, you just sell back to the average line. And if it even moves even more, then you sell, you double your lots and you sell back to the average line. If it moves even more, you triple your lots and you sell back to the average line. And that's how it works. And the same thing on the bottom side. Go and have a look at this video. It explains the concept in a lot more detail. Then in a follow-up video, I actually sh made a video to show people how to set these channels up manually using the existing channels that are on MT4 and MT5. So it's quite a laborious process to set these channels up and uh, that's how, what happened. And, it, and people just love this video. Uh, you can see 7,000 views where they learnt how to set these channels up. And the same concept again, you you buy back to the average line if the price is below the average line and you sell back to the average line if the price is, is above the average line. And then earlier this week, we actually launched an automated EA that trades exactly that concept. It will sell back to the, the average line if the price is above and buy back to the average line if the price is below. So you don't have to sit watching the charts. So if you want to learn more about this, trading robot there's the link clickable links will be in the description of the video as well as the very first comment of the video okay so now we've created for your use an indicator that draws these channel lines for you and there we see the middle line that orange line there is the middle line very important calculations good to know what the average or the mean price is of a, a, a particular price movement and then this that upper one is the first deviation upper two is the second deviation and upper three is the third deviation and you can see the price very seldom goes in 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 that particular patch it all happens very close to the middle line 
Now, the beauty of this indicator, you can do with it what you want. You can color these lines, give them the color you want. You can actually even change the values of these lines. Now, I'm going to show you where I've changed the uh, lines, not to be three lines above, but to have six lines above. And why would I do that? Because if you have to wait for the price to get there and then come back and then get there and come back. Now, this is an annual chart. So that movement there might be three weeks. That movement there might be three, another three weeks. That movement there might be two months. So it, it is very slow. So if you can if you know that 68% of the price action happens here, what you do then is you add lines in, in this particular area and trade on the same concept as the price touches the line. You trade back to the average line. So let's load, and what I've done is, is this particular one I've actually saved, and you can go in here, and I'll go through all the settings. I've actually saved a template, so all I need to do is I go load, and I say, all right, I want the six level line now. Load it, and I open it, and voila, there the six lines are. So in other words, uh, where before this was the first deviation line, now there are two first deviations, there are two second deviation and two third deviation. And now when you're trading, transactions happen a lot faster. You can go up there, down, down there and, and cash it in there, down there and cash it in there. And, and it allows you to also cash in transactions over and over again where the price bounces down, it goes up, down, up, down, and you can duplicate the transactions. So you have a lot more transactions that way. That's just another strategy of trading the same concept. Now the idea of the indicator is to actually give you a tool that you can play around with before you actually use the EA, because then you can say, oh, this strategy looks good. This strategy looks, looks good. Now I'm going to show you another strategy. So as we said, most of the action happens near the middle line. So you actually want more lines than that than I'm showing here near the middle line. You want fewer lines at the second level and you actually want very uh, even less at the third level so i'm going to show you a strategy and uh, th that has that set up so we go in here and we say edit and we load that strategy and it's the 10 level strategy and i'll explain that one to you and we just open it up and say okay and let's see what happens okay so now now I've got the 10 line strategy now the 10 line strategy basically takes the the first deviation and splits it into four then it takes the second deviation and splits it into three and then the last deviation splits into two which makes a lot of sense because you want to trade quite intensively uh, near the average line and you want to trade less intensively away from it. But the whole concept is still the same. The price will move towards the average line all the time. So you're just continuously trading towards the average line as the price activates when it touches one of those lines. But it's a nice tool to go and play around with. And let's go and have a look at, at the actual settings. Okay, and here are all the settings. Now, firstly, you have a look back period. In other words, how far back do you want the indicator to look back? You can go 50 bars back, you can have 100 bars back, you can have 200 bars back. As you can see, this particular one is 200 bars back. If you want more, the further you look back, the more reliable your channel and more stable it is. The shorter the period, the less reliable and it will repaint a lot quicker. So 200 is quite a good number. Then it says, then it says, where do you want your deviation lines drawn? And it gives you 10 options. And in this case, this is the last one that I've just shown you here. I said I want one at 0 0.25, 0 0.5, 0 0.75 and one. So that's where I got those green lines there. And then 
I said, okay, the third level, I only want a division of three. So uh, I said 1.33, 1.67, and then two. So there's the next three lines. And then the, the last line, I only want two. So it's two, uh, two and a half to three. And then the very last line is three, 3.5, which is way out. The price should not go to uh, 3.5 if you're using a long enough look back period and that's the advantage of standard deviation lines it, it shows you the playing field that you're dealing with if this was the playing field and the price didn't move much out of this playing field you know you're pretty safe to take trades um, that are quite a long way from the, the the average line because you know there's a good chance that it'll move back to the average line Okay, so that, that, that's how you set your levels. How, and then you have a setting how often you want the uh, deviation levels to be recalculated. And I just said every new bar. So if you're using a daily, you just, it will recalculate it on a daily basis. If you're using four hour, you can use it. And I'm going to flip around between uh, time frames pretty soon to give you an idea of that. Um, then it says, what information do you want to show on your lines? Um, and, uh, and there are a few choices there. You can see the level. Now, at the moment, I've got it set for level. You can also see the value, the actual price value, and you can see both. Now, I'm going to just set this for both, and then let's see what it looks like. Okay, so now it's showing the price level and the name of the label. I've, I found this a little bit too cluttered. Also, I'm not too interested in the price levels myself, so I will go back and change that to just seeing the label. Okay, just show the label, and we say, I, I want press OK. And then you can actually tell it how you want to describe the label. Now, for instance, I've got a U for the upper levels and L for the lower levels. You can call them whatever you want. In fact, let me just change this to low and we'll just change that to up. And um, let's click OK and see what change. OK, so now you can see that that now says up and that one says low. So you can really, it's a very flexible indicator. You can change all those details to customize it for your particular needs. So let's have a look at the other inputs. And then you can set the, set the font size. And here's the middle line structure. You can see the middle line is a dotted line. I've got it as a dotted line and the rest are solid lines. And here you can go mad and set the colors of your lines. Now this is quite important because I'm using a black background because it's, it stands out a little bit more for videos, but you might want to use a white background. So let's go and have a look at uh, that on a white background. Okay, so, th so this is a chart of the uh, uh, Euro Oz, and this is on a lighter background, and you can see the channels there. So let's say, oh, this green is a little bit too light. Let's go and change the green. So you just go into the uh, indicator like that and you say um, that that lime is too too light I want maybe a, a a nice bright blue you say okay and there we are there's the light blues now it's now it's much easier to read so you can go and change oh you don't like that middle line so we go and change it Oop. We go and change it uh, for a, I think a red will go pretty well with that one. And you change that to a nice bright red. And away we go. And again, it updates. And there now you have a nice red line. So you can adjust this indicator to your particular needs. How many lines you want, what colors you want, what what values you want to show, and that type of thing. And as you see now, I've used two two currencies here, the uh, Euro Oz. Just out of interest, let's have a look at the size of the difference between the deviation lines. So, if we measure this down, we see the difference here is is 170 
four pips. So this is a very volatile currency, the euro, euro Oz, and the the line difference is 174 pips. So let's flip back to the Aussie New Zealand, and these ones are slightly more correlated. So I'm going to go back to the three level setting, and I go up there and like that, and I say okay, and and like that. And there we have the three several. Now remember the other one was 176, I think it was. But let's have a look at what this is. And we go down like that. And here we see a, a deviation level of 75. So I can sh you can see the massive difference between them. And that's why I like standard deviation channels. They take into account the volatility of the currency automatically. And they also give you an idea, if you're trading strategies that use grid differences, uh, you definitely know that this one is a, uh, needs much smaller grid differences than the larger ones. Now go and play around with this indicator. I hope you enjoy it. I've gone a bit overboard showing you all the things. I get quite excited about these indicators uh, because they, it's, this particular one supplies me with incredible information regarding currency selection because sideway markets need currencies with very small differences um, from the middle line to the first deviation line and trending strategies need ones that have a huge differences because you're trading the trend. So I use this particular indicator for currency selection too, but it also helps you to create strategies for the bell trader. One thing that I've just, uh, just noticed that I haven't s spoken about is that some of these lines do create non-horizontal support and resistance lines. So just looking at this chart as, uh, as we're speaking, you can see that this blue line was is actually a, a support line and that the middle line is a support and resistance line price stop stop stops there comes down bounces there bounces there so and then the next one is also a resistance line so th they do create uh, non-horizontal support and resistance also helps with establishing that so as mentioned before uh, download the indicator from the download link that will be in the description of the video from me alex deploy cheerio